Hi guys, Prashant here from Make Marketeer, and uh, uh, in this video, I'm going to speak about how to track the outbound links on your website. This is generally important when you are trying to, uh, you know, bring people to your website, and finally the checkout is hosted on some other website. For this, you can implement cross-domain tracking, and that will absolutely send the uh, the information about the initial source and medium to the next domain. And for that, you have to implement cross-domain tracking. If it's if it's hosted on another subdomain, you don't have to implement that. All you can do is simply implement subdomain tracking, and that will do wonders for you. And this will this will be available in your Google Analytics data. But my question is, when I am having the same thing in in Facebook, so I want the same information to be captured right in Facebook as well. That means people come to my A website, and then for making the payment, they have to go to B website. But but I'm not really sure because I've not implemented the cross domain tracking and send information to Facebook because generally cookie is dropped on per domain basis and here two domains. I'm not really sure if the web protocol will allow that to share the cookie between two domains even I put the same pixel. I am, I am pretty sure if I put the same picture on both the websites and I create an event, Facebook will capture the event. But the question is, is it going to attribute uh, the information of the conversion to the right ad click? Right. In analytics, again, if I'm using attribution, I've created one video about attribution in Facebook. Uh, what it does is it captures all the information about the other channels that were involved in the conversion path. So the question is, if somebody comes to, to my site from some other source and then and then eventually happens to go and convert. So question is, is, is Facebook going to capture all this thing and attribute the conversion to the right channel? So I'm not really sure because I haven't tried and, and analytics works when I implement cross domain tracking. I'm not really sure about this because the web protocol does not allow the cookie information to be passed from one domain to other domain, even though you have the same uh, pixel paste on two domains. But here, so what I'm going to do is, so I have a workaround for this. So what I thought was maybe I can drive people and create one event to that page where people click and finally go to the other page when they when they want to check out. Example, so rather than creating an event on the other page where people purchase and, and I want to optimize my Facebook ad delivery for that event, rather than that what I can do is I can create an event when people click on the outbound link. That means the, this outbound link is a link that people click to go to my, my, my checkout page. So I create an event and I will tell Facebook to deliver my ads for this particular uh, event. So I want optimization to be done in terms of delivery for this particular event. So I'm going to implement this by implement by using something called outbound click tracking. So I will share this information to Facebook and how I'm going to do that, I'll show you in a while. Now if you come back here, so what I've done is I have went to Google Tag Manager and in Google Tag Manager I created, or I've already created, I have created a outbound link tracking. So I created one tag, it's an HTML tag, custom HTML tag because I want to send this event as a custom event to Facebook. Right, so I've created a custom event and I said, I think you might be knowing FPQ and uh, track custom, this is the syntax and uh, link clicks is the name of the event and these are the web parameters, the custom parameter that I'm trying to send. And these are the data layer variables which capture the click URL and the page on which this click was made. I mean, when people move from my website or to, to other domain for checkout process. So whenever somebody clicks on this activity, I set up a proper trigger. Whenever that trigger is triggered or when that when an action happens, an event is triggered or that a particular action is triggered, Phase, uh, the tag manager will deploy this code and this code will send information about an event called custom event and the event name is link clicks and these are certain parameters that I'm saying because I want to create custom audiences or I want to create custom conversion back in uh, Facebook. So you see this, this is the script that I'm using and uh, yeah, so I, I, I've put this tag sequencing because I want the Facebook pixel to fire even before uh, this is fired, right? now. And I also have one trigger set up here. So I'll show you more about that trigger in a while. So I'm not going to show you here. So everything is set up properly. So I'm saying, yeah, hey, uh, no, stay here. So let me save this. Right, so I go to triggers. So I have a particular trigger. This trigger I want to fire only when people click on that outbound link that take people from my site to the, the checkout page, which is hosted on another domain. So this is the outbound link trigger. And uh, I'll show you. I'll show you my website. This is my website. So when people click on this outbound link, I want this to be captured. And this event, I want Facebook to capture it as a custom event and a link click, right? So this is another event, and it's similar to we have another website where, where people click and go and, and and make a purchase in that domain, right? So I created a trigger, and this trigger, what I've selected is just link clicks. I've selected just links, just links. You see, just links. And here I've selected. Uh, I want this trigger to fire on all page URLs. That's why I'm using the regular expression. Regular expression dot star represents it captures literally everything. It, it works on every page. And then I'm using some link clicks and I here choose all click URLs. 
which does not contain make money. That means I don't want people to click on any link and that event and that, that action should be captured. I want only outbound clicks. So I'm saying any link click URL that does not contain my website, that is my domain name, right? So this is how I've done it. I've already implemented it. It's a refresh more, I will refresh it. So just to show you, I am taking you through my original site and here I'm going to refresh. You see, I'm in preview mode and uh, I can actually see uh, what tags have been fired. So this is a beautiful feature with an, uh, Google Tag Manager. You see, nothing happened. So, but when I click on this particular URL, a link click was recorded and on this link click, an outbound link tracking was recorded. You see? Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this pixel helper to find the information. You see link clicks event was sent. And when this event was sent, you see custom parameters were also sent. What is this custom parameters? First academy.in and the URL on which this button was clicked or this link was clicked, which is this site. Right? So I can go to Facebook here and in Facebook as well, you know, I can set up a custom audience here, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to analytics and if I refresh it, you'll find that event being displayed here. Not just even being displayed, it will also show the parameters that were passed from my website uh, to the Facebook analytics. One moment. You see link clicks. It was 734. If you see the time here, oh, I think it's not passed yet. I think I have to wait. You see? This is how it was captured. And what I can do is I can come back here and I can create a custom audience if I want, custom audience or custom conversion. And here I can select uh, whatever custom events. It is not there yet because it just implemented. So it will show you all those things. So it will it will pop up something like link clicks. And when you select that link clicks, again, you have URL parameters here. You, here you will have the option to choose uh, the click URL or page URL. So this way you can create a custom conversion when people actually do that action and that event will also be counted as a conversion and the advantage of creating this is you can tell system to optimize the ad delivery for this particular action right so maybe you can try this or uh, this was this was a real problem that we had when uh, we had one client where the checkout actually happens on um, the other website and we have other clients as well where the where the form is hosted on some of the website. So we have to drive people to that. And and for that we want to know as to how many people leave my site and go there. So I'm passing this activity as an event and trying to capture them as events. So I can ask Facebook to deliver my ads for that particular event. You can try these things and uh, and I would come back with another video. Please go to Make Marketer, subscribe to my videos. I'm creating some advanced level videos. This is not for beginners again. I'm not creating videos about campaigns. You know, there are tons of videos available on the internet. So I'm creating about these things, which will really help you become an effective marketer. And uh, you can uh, you can you can browse through my YouTube channel, or you can go through our website, the makemarketer.com, where we run India's first 100% real-time digital marketing immersive bootcamp. And uh, thank you so much and stay connected. I will see you soon with another video. Thank you.